Hello and welcome back to the Night Hill channel and back to Shining in the Darkness. Captain is here. I'm here. Let's get back to the labyrinth. I was trying to remember what we did last time, but I think all I need to do is use this medallion and we'll be back. If I did it right. Yes. I sure did. I think. Yes, this so is if, level three. If I'm correct, level four is one step up. <laughs> Yes, you're absolutely correct. This is not with the level two, this is the level three, and we certainly didn't get to level four yet. Okay. And I need to recurse Pyra. Yes, that very interesting quirk. Yes, because we, I forgot, we got completely paralyzed. So we died, in quotes. All right, we're good. We talked last time that we need a strategy this time, and are we thinking the strategy is just AoE magic whenever we run across those Gorgons? Um, I should have bought Smelling Salts, shouldn't I? Eh, oh well. <laughs> Surely it won't come back to bite me again. No, certainly not. Um, I don't remember which way it was. I think it was right. Are we trying to get somewhere, or are we just trying to go? Um, that is an excellent question as well. It feels like we haven't done much yet, so it, it seems all right if we just are here to go. I'm good with that. We'll just kind of meander around. Mm-hmm. So, last time when we left off, I actually remembered, I said I was going to talk about continuity stuff, because that's something that I'm very passionate about. Um, well... Your viewers will appreciate that you have continuity from episode to episode. Yeah, it would have been pretty ironic if I if I didn't. If I just totally forgot what we were talking about and pretended it didn't happen. Um, but, I, I guess I should say I'm really passionate about it for stuff that I am passionate about. Um, and my best example of that is like, uh, well, you know, properties I'm super into, but... Um, I've had friends tell me that, like, they really didn't like the new Halloween movies, because they're like, well, it just, you know, makes a mockery of Michael Myers or whatever, and I'm like, maybe, but I'm just so uninvested in, like, the Halloween series that uh, I just don't care. I could probably enjoy it anyway. That's a particularly interesting one to choose, because not only did the new Halloween movies stop the continuity... It's the third time that that particular movie series has upset its continuity. The original movie, it had a sequel, and then there were, I don't know, four others. All right, I'm going to pause, and we're going to get these people done right before I say anything else. I think it's fine when there's just two. Okay, probably right. Um, after four or five movies, they reset the continuity of Halloween, and yes. they reset it to be that the only the first and the second movie were legitimate. Then they rebooted it. Rob Zombie made two movies. I remember that. Then they made another movie that said that only the first movie counts. So, I mean, you know, the Halloween series as a whole has a long story tradition of just throwing away continuity. I want to experiment real quick, too. Oh, okay. well, that's a dead end. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, we can get into fights with the wall. My question was going to be, I know if I walk enough that paralysis goes away. But if I turn in place enough, does it also go away? I don't know the answer to that. Well, turning does initiate random battles. So yeah, I, I hope so. I had forgotten that that was the case. Goodness. Okay, so it's still there for now. Yeah. But yeah, that that I did think for the same reason. Um, okay, we're just gonna go back and pick up some smelling salts. Yes, I think that's wise. Even if, if only for Milo. Um, we'll get some for both of it. Like we need to not put it all on one person because, yeah. Right. Um. So I'm gonna make room, and we're going to. I'm just gonna heal that off. I think. Um. Oh, I'm in items. That's why. Let me egress real quick. Mm-hmm. There we go. Just so we have full MP, 30 gold is nothing to us now, so I'm just going to tavern it. 
Continuity is such an interesting thing in that it seems like it really depends on the genre. You don't see nearly as many reboots in games, and when you do, it's... I think it's different because the mechanics are usually getting updated, right? Like, I'm, the, the example that I think of that is a reboot, like Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil, or Resident Evil's 2 and 3. Yes. All of those are reboots, but they're not just a story reboot, they're also a gameplay reboot. Um, I would say, re I would say remake, which is different. Because a, re so that raises a reboot is, we're gonna try to kind of wipe... Why does she look like that? Why does she look like there, she like saw a spider or something? We're buying smelling salts for Pyra. That just that scares her. I guess. Um, I'm gonna sell the healing seed we have, and so Milo can have one too. There's a few things that we can probably sell. Like Milo has two fl flails. He doesn't need them both. Uh, does he? We have the great. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll make sure he's equipped with the correct thing when we're done. Sorry, we'll get we'll get back to the continuity talk in just a second. Um, you can sell the healing seed like you were going to. I wonder if you could also start selling some of the keys. Like I I know that maybe we need the keys again later, but we haven't needed them in a while. True. And we know I, that we can buy them. I'm not going to because that feels like something that at the end of this it would be like use the key to open it or something. Well, the reason I say that is because, you know, we can re we can buy them back. We could buy back the maps, so I wonder if we could just buy back the keys when I'm we need them. I, I bet we can. I'm just saying with my luck, we're going to get to the very top, the end of, like, number uh, four or whatever, like level four. Ah, uh, And yeah. we're going to get hit with the door. Yeah, you're probably right. That's that just my hurt. luck. So yes, I'm just going right. to bank on that being the case. I'm going to shift some things around real quick. Let's give the rope to Milo. Is there anything else that I want to give for Hero? Yeah. Because Milo can also unparalyze people with magic. Exactly. Right. He doesn't need to hold smelling salts. No. I might have him do it anyway. No, nah, we'll we'll have one we'll have one space. In case we find something. Okay. We'll just load up on those. Um, can I do something else? Yes. Actually, yeah. Let's let's just buy one more. They're not expensive. I need to pr stop pretending like I don't have money. Because I do. Inventory management. Got it unlocked. Um, okay. And we will... Medallion back. Sweet. Okay. So a reboot is like we are um, totally like halting continuity. Nothing that happened before is going to count. And it's like a new getting on point for a new audience, essentially. Uh, I have Milo with the wrong one. I said and I you would wouldn't, it, and I you wouldn't say that a remake in a video game is the equivalent of that for a reboot? No. Because a remake is just you remaking something used to be old. In our modern times, it doesn't even seem like it has to be old anymore. <laughs> we just remake stuff that came out like a year or two ago. Right. Well, in games, it's more complicated than that. There's remakes, there's remasters. Yes. Um, you know, those are there, there's a... There are entire podcast episodes dedicated to sussing out the differences there. I think it's pretty simple. It's just, um... Did you start from the ground up with something new? If yes, remake. If you didn't, then remaster. Yeah. That's how I do it. But um, then you have things like comic books. And in comic books, uh, yeah. there um, are no reboots, there are no remakes, but there are there's, there's universe reboots. reboots. Yeah. Right. So like the continuity, it, it's it's the strangest thing. The continuity stays, but also everything starts over. Continuity oftentimes does not stay, I don't think. 
Well, when I say continuity stays, what I mean is that it's the same timeline. They're not they're not pretending what happened before didn't happen. I, I've saying, seen them do that. Really? Like what? what? What examples? I'm actually not familiar with that. Um, as far as I understand, DC's New 52 was that. That it was like, all of our characters, uh, many of them are going to be like completely different people. We're just going to have them share the same name. Hmm, interesting. Um, and that's actually part of the reason that I really struggle to get into American comics, because I, I like a story that keeps going and builds on itself, and American comics don't do that very well. It's a lot more of, like, um, most things are self-contained, is kind of what it feels like. Unless you're doing, like, specific really big universe stuff, um... If I want to read a Batman comic, I can pick up Batman number one, but there's like a million Batman number ones, and I don't need to know anything else before I pick up that number one. Uh, typically. Typically. There's still some times that that's not the case, and I've also been annoyed by that before, too. Because if you, if you get too crazy with it, and you have like too many things going on, um... I've definitely read some stories that have too many irons in the fire, with too many crossovers, with too many different books, and it's like, I'm just trying to read one series, man. You get the MCU when that happens. Maybe. I, I haven't read Marvel in a long time. No, I'm talking about the films. The films have gotten that way, where if you don't, like, yes. there, there is now officially enough going on in the films that it is difficult to just watch a movie today if you haven't watched any of the other ones. Revive Level 2? I wonder what that does. I would think it's a full revive instead of a partial revive, but maybe it's full party. I don't know. I don't know. How much does that cost? 35 Well, hopefully we never what... need to figure that out. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know what you mean about the MCU. Like, I saw uh, an article the other day that was like the Arrowverse has officially ended, which was the CW show with Green Arrow, Flash, Legends mm -hmm. of Tomorrow, Supergirl... The list goes on and on, and uh, I actually was super into that when it started. I loved Arrow when it first came out, but um, I did end up getting out of it because it was just too complicated. It got to a point where it was like, for me to just watch a season of Arrow, I've got to watch like two or three seasons of like four other shows <laughs> that I also don't like. <laughs> Yeah, that's tricky. And I in the uh, the Netflix Marvel universe got that way as well, where, you know, the, the the Daredevil show, fantastic. I don't have anything bad to say, especially about the first season. Then the third season, which was very good in its own right, if you hadn't watched the Defenders, you lost all context. It was like I have no idea what's going on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't mind some of that. I Like, I've talked about on the channel before, at length, I, I think, that I used to be super into Star Wars. I read all the books, watched all the shows, uh, did, you know, everything you could do with that. Um, but yeah, like, that's actually part of it, was I was reading the uh, Star Wars comics, like some of the newer ones. I, I wanted to give them a shot. This is still years ago at this point. Um, all right, let's pause real quick. This should be an AOE spell type of battle, don't you think? Let's try to sleep them, maybe. Okay. So they can't... Okay! That is a very MP-efficient way to take care of this. Yes, I agree. Um, but yeah, it was just... You need to be reading, like, so many different kinds of comics and stuff, and I liked some, and I didn't like some, and then... The ones I- I finally bailed when the ones I liked, I stopped liking even. But, yeah, it's just all too much, um... But yeah, con continuity is a big thing, and... One of my, like, biggest gripes- I feel like this is leading me back the way I came, so I'm gonna go the other way. No, we've not been this way. Oh, we haven't? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then I will keep going that way. Um, one of the worst continuity things I've ever seen, and I'm sure people are sick to death of debating that, was, uh, uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. I'll never forget the, uh, what the, the fans now call the Holdo Maneuver, which is, uh, her driving, like, a hyper, what, what is it, like, 
going into hyperspace and smashing her ship into a bunch of other ships. And yes, I was a just very, like, very powerful move that obliterates an entire fleet that has never been seen before or since. Yeah, at that point I was like, it's dumb to suggest that just nobody thought of this. Like, to me, that's already a big continuity thing. It's like, if it's that easy, you know, the great generals probably should have thought of it. Um, but even if you want me to, like, to squint and accept that, then, you know, everything past this point is rendered moot. We should never have another space battle, like, again, the way it's looked previously. Right, it would be much more effective just to load up a really, really heavy ship with a bunch of fuel and then just create hyperdrive bombs. Yes, and I've had people say too, like, well, that's not really efficient because ships are expensive, and I'm like, we'll build them different. Well, like, not to if, mention, if I mean, I don't, use... if I don't need life support systems because I'm just going to use automated systems to do this, then right. build just a giant flying hunk of brick. Like, right, well, and have, you, have you seen space battles? Like, space battles right now are you blow up an awful lot of spaceships. Like, I'd much rather blow up one than blow up all of mine. Yes. I, I mean, The Last Jedi is a perfect example of it. At the very beginning of the movie, they have a bombing squad to try to blow up the ship, and they, they lose, I don't know, a dozen, two dozen ships trying to blow that one up, and they're successful, but, like, you know, how, how much more expensive are those 12 ships than one big heavy one with a lot of fuel on it? All right, we'll go this way, because these are new. We haven't seen Cerebus before. No, we have not. Um, I think it's interesting, too. That's not Severus. It's Cerebus. Hmm. I wonder if there's a character limit. Could be. It's interesting where there are character limits and where there aren't in Shining Force games. At least I'm just thinking, like, in Shining Force 1, for example... There's a lot of character limits on, like, character names, but not on item names. So you can have a really, really long item name, but not a long enemy name. That's pretty bizarre. I'm sure there's a reason for it. It may just be that the that was the way they decided to save space, but... I don't know. Could be that. Could also be, like, um... We're gonna go this way, because... I'm gonna vision... Oh, okay. I'm gonna vision here in a second. Because okay. I'm thinking that, um... I'm heading north, I think. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That was not a good I was going to say, we're not going to the right, but I'm going to go ahead and lean into uh, your intuition on this one. I just feel like north is the way to go, and I don't okay. know why I feel that way. But I do. Hopefully we get a better round this round. Yes. These guys hit pretty hard. I was going to say earlier, I wonder if the best play is to use Sleep 2 at the start of every fight. Um, it might be more efficient now that you mention that. As long as it's working. Like, if it doesn't work, then don't do it. But, I mean, yeah, but it does with the amount of MP, sometimes. right. Um, I also wish we could check combat spells better outside. Wait, pause, pause. Let's vision. Well, yeah. Okay. If, if we don't vision now, then, I mean, I guess you'll still be able to know if you're going north, but there won't be anything on the map to see if we've been here before. True. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. But yeah, continuity is very much a retroactive thing, but it's also a future thing. Like, you've got to keep in mind, don't introduce anything into your world that's going to, like, break the future, you know? Right. No, we're good. Okay. I'm assuming that's where we came up from the bottom floor using the rope at some point. That's correct. So yeah, we're heading north, so yep. now we're going to go west, south, west. <laughs> That makes sense. We had to go around, uh, go around that Deathbringer. Okay, that's they're new. And they share a sprite with the enemies that use the soul. So let's yep. try and put them to sleep. Okay, we got one, uh, which is not great. No. And that's Fingers the one crossed. that Milo's attacking. Okay. 
So the irony of all of this is that, you know, we, we talk about all the ways that continuity is challenging and that it's, it's, it's frustrating to have um, too much continuity. But you had said previously that continuity is very important to you, that you take continuity very seriously. So how yeah. do you reconcile those things? Um, it's that if you want people to take your storytelling seriously, you just got to keep track of it, like as difficult as it is. And sometimes that's easy. Don't do a holdo maneuver. Sometimes it's hard when you have a million characters and you're like, I need to keep track of where all of them are. It's like, yeah, I mean, if you want people, the, the bottom line is if you want people to care about them, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Because what about, you know, if, I, if that's going to be my favorite character is some side character that, you know, you've tried to make into a thing, then you got to care about him enough to keep track of where he is. Um, but it's also that it's the 21st century, and man, will the fans help you. It's true. Yeah, it's interesting. So many, especially television shows, are so adversarial to their fans. Like, the example yes. I think of is shows on HBO like the uh, Westworld, or even Game of Thrones, where they were so focused on, we need to do something that the fans don't expect, and then therefore they did things that were maybe more nonsensical or not as good yes. because it turns out that nobody expects something really, really bad, but it was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. I saw stuff like that. Like I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Cause I was one of those game of Thrones fans. And that's another one that I'm like, I have no interest in now. Like they're trying yeah. to be like, Oh, you know, we'll I think we're going to do your method. Um, you know, we'll do a prequel series. And I'm like, the end of the original was so bad. I don't care what happens before that. Right. Um, let me think. Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. So it was like, um, the best way I saw it put was that they put a lot of kind of pieces on the game board. And it's like, yeah, you've kind of created a mystery for your fans here. But then they decided, the fans are smart, you know, it's the internet, they solved the mysteries. Right. They put the puzzle pieces together. And then they, the, uh, the creators, the writers, felt the need to change the ending because people put the puzzle pieces together. And I'm like, that just tells me that you made a good mystery. A good mystery right. you're able to piece together if you try hard enough. Absolutely. You know, it's not just completely unrelated things happening that, you know, just don't actually fit together in a cohesive way. You run the risk yeah. of, if you put puzzle pieces, people putting them together. And you can't just, at the end, go, I know we've been telegraphing. Uh, this seems like a way through. Yeah, we haven't had one of these in a couple of floors. I like it. Um, if You can't just say the, the maid did it after you've been telegraphing and putting all the puzzle pieces that the butler did it for... You know, in that case, eight seasons or seven seasons. Um, I'm gonna that... bet vision here just to see where we are. Are you? Did you hear that from George R. R. Martin? Or I you believe two just... so. I was gonna say I've heard that exact quote from him. He says specifically, he says, if you've written your books so that the butler did it, and then the fans guess it, and you change it so that the maid did it, you ruin your story because your story was written assuming that the butler did it. So yeah. Um, and I I totally agree. Like. Things fitting together and making sense is not a flaw in your story. No. Um, but yeah, it's weird how hostile creators have gotten to their audiences. It's it's very strange to me. And I, I get, like, sometimes needing to tell your audience that, um, that they're wrong. Um, I have a lot of respect for artists that... Um, I think the thing I see the most is, like, an artist goes, what you think you want from me is X. What I'm going to give you is Y. And you don't realize you want Y, but, like, I'm going to give you Y, and you're going you're gonna to understand why you want Y. And I've seen that happen sometimes, and it go really well. Yeah, and I mean, to bring this all back to video games, video games is really the perfect example of where that is true. Because the example of doing it wrong, I think, is Kickstarter where in Kickstarter, oh. a game developer will make exactly the same game that they've always made because that's what the fans ask for. And so you get a game like Ukulele or Mighty Number no. 9. Well, Mighty Number no. 9 is not a great example. That was a badly made game, even if it was just Mega Man. But Ukulele, I mean, Ukulele was 
just Banjo Kazooie, and it's like, well, where to have Banjo Kazooie? We want something a little bit different. But not. And you're enough. right. Right, and then you know, Nintendo is the perfect example of when Nintendo makes a new game, they do something different, unless it's Pokemon. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not sometimes good, but it's, it's always Pokemon, different. Sometimes it's Star Fox. Right. Uh, right, and I'm not saying that it's always good, because Star Fox is an example where it's not always good. The, yeah, that's and, kind of what I was saying. And Pokemon 2 is one that I think that they should do a little bit more different. Absolutely, that's a perfect example of they just keep giving you the same thing, because, well, you liked it last time. Yeah, yeah, and there's times that, like, you know, for Shining Force. I would love more of the same. Um, and she doesn't need that yet. But there's also, like, you know, we've been doing something different for a long time. For Shining Force. Right. Kind of same for Star Fox. It's like, we've, we've been doing different things for a while. I'm ready for something that's the same again. Let's touch mm -hmm. base and then go back. Right. Yeah, the Shining series is a great example, because this is totally different from an SRPG, and then Shining Wisdom is totally different from an SRPG as well. And those are good things. Those are like, you know, it's, it's great that we get something that's a little bit different. Some of them are certainly better than others, but the change yes. in style is great, as long as you come back to the things that work every once in a while. Yeah, for sure. If we got, you know, I'm not unhappy with this at all. Also, I'm happy and surprised that Hero is outspeeding some things now. I wonder if that means that we're just at a high enough level, or if there's just a lot of slower enemies because things are getting more powerful. I don't know. Huh? Oh my gosh! You've come to rescue me from this flea pit! I don't think we'll get far. Unless you have the key to open this cell. To make matters worse, Mortred is guarding the key. You look shocked. You're not related to Mortred, are you? Cruel fate. It pains me to tell you that Mortred now serves the Dark One. I, th I thought Mortred was the Dark One. I thought he was Dark Soul. No, no, no. That was Melvin. Isn't Mortred your father? Oh my gosh, you're right. So... Wow. We're about to fight Dad. If my father learns of Mortred's treachery, it will break his heart. I hate to ask this, but could you please get me the cell key? Good luck. Okay, we can't go any closer. You're telling me... Wait, wait pause, pause, pause. If there's a boss fight, do we want to heal? Yes. I assumed that we would see something to tell us that. Well, you might be right. I'm just thinking about the skeleton on the last floor appeared out of nowhere. So I'm you're, just... You're totally right. All right. I think Milo's high enough, but I'll double check. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, I think we're all good enough. You get lots of MP, which is good, too. Okay, nothing that way. Interlopers. Yeah. You are intruding upon Lord Dark Souls' domain. Oh, my gosh. But this is as far as you go. It's a pity that your quest for the princess must end here. Enough small talk. Prepare to meet your maker. Oh, goodness. Oh, he has different music. It's the Shining Force music! Is it? I can't hear it very well. <gasps> yeah, this is um, Dark Souls fight, isn't it? I think so. Wild. All right, so it's we want to use. Different. I'm thinking we want to start with boost. Oh and my gosh! Just quick on people for the memes. Surely he's immune. Surely he is. Okay. But yeah, you think <laughs> we quick. try? Quick. I yeah. was thinking if you did quick on Pyro, well, maybe not Pyro. Oh, that's on all. Oh, fantastic! He's got it level two, so it's all. And we slow him. I will uh, slow him or boost somebody. Slow is probably better because it'll do the same thing. If it works. Right. Boost will work. Let's start with that. And it's everybody. Oh, fantastic. Oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we're casting boost, because th that's going to help. Or quick, I mean. Yeah. Well, maybe not for, Mar for hero. Goodness gracious, that's it? It's probably percent base, don't you think? Probably. Okay, um... I think we do that. I think I have her heal him. 
Mm hmm. Uh, let me. Okay, that is aura. It's okay, 50, so though. It's half of your MP, but it also means that Pyra can then do something else. What's Pyra gonna do? He can cast slow or try to do damage. I'm thinking slow. Let's do it. Doesn't work. Yeah. All right, this turn I'm having an attack. Mm -hmm. um, I might steal hero just because. Well, you could do you could try slow or sleep, but I was gonna say I think if an awesome blow right, hits hero, you're right, you're right. You're speaking sense. This is insane. It's a cool sprite too. It is. Let's and it's special. It's one of the very few sprites in the game that has an attack animation. Yeah. Yeah, and its own theme. I mean, if this is how he wants to do it, we'll just keep doing this. I'm good with this loop we've got going. Yes. I don't know if you just heard that, I just spilled something all over my desk. I so did not. This fight, we're gonna have to pause real quick so I can clean it up. Oh, we got the double that time. Oh, but we got the awesome blow. Oh my gosh! It took his helmet off! But he's not dead yet. No, he just- I wonder if you can like, can Hero speak to him or something? I've got nothing. Doesn't look like it. Huh, that's a bummer. I'm just blown away that they have a sprite that evolves. Well, I won't say too much, but I'll say it's not the only sprite that evolves. Okay. That's the first one I've seen. Oh my gosh, you were right. Oh! Ah! Okay. Go you... four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do I want Pyre to do then? Uh, I could go for... Muddle probably won't work. Do I just go for the slow again? Or do I do I just heap on some damage? Or may I say maybe freeze four? Alright. Boom. That double crit was nuts. Hey! All right. And the music fades out? Okay. I I remember a sword, Darkblade, Melville's gift. It robbed me of my will. Hero, my son, do not weep for me. After all, you freed my soul. Cursed be this sword and its source of power, the darkness. Now listen well. Stop Dark Soul. Purge his evil from our realm. The cell key lies ahead of this passage. Go, free the princess. Oh my gosh. That was so intense. What well a done, though. cool First try. fight. Yeah, that was thanks to your help too. It's a team effort. Um. All right, so, hello. <laughs> Oh, I guess good. if you're low, this will just take you right out. Go to sleep. Nope. Couldn't have been that easy. I guess this is the insurance. Yeah, because he hits hard. I mean, I assume it's the same boss as the last level, right? Now he's just a regular enemy. I don't know. I've only seen it once. It came out of the floor, so, like, I don't know. I don't know if that makes it the same enemy or not.
I imagine it's like the Kaiser Crab. What once was a boss is now just a random enemy. Could be. Well, maybe not random. Maybe you're right. Maybe this is the only one we'll fight, but at the very least, not still the boss. Um, yeah, and I just don't know, like, I have no idea if this is a whole dungeon after this, or, like, if it really is just right here. I don't know if I should eat grass or press on. Because we're not in good shape. We are not. Um, I mean, I can tell you if you want to know. Um, we just need to get to the cell key, and yes. then... I, I recognize that, but is that super far? Do I need no. to eager? No? Okay. No, it's not. Alright. And more importantly, well, I'll just say there's a gold, there's a there's a place to pick up the medallion, but we didn't bring our medallion last time, we so we'll have to come back again anyway. I thought we were just running around. I didn't know we were. Um, uh, I'm gonna go. No, we lucked into the right path. There was another half or so of the dungeon that we didn't explore, so we'll okay. have to do that next. I don't want to egress, but man. What if we tried running? I don't think Maybe so. Not. It feels no. like it's an environmental thing. Yeah, you're probably right. It feels like it's not a... Uh, like, we... this They knew this was going to be here. It's like a set piece. So yeah, that was my spiel on continuity, I guess, because I have no idea where I was. I got super distracted by my dad. I was not expecting that at all. I thought he was just going to be dead, because, like, in Shining Wisdom, you never, you know, find your dad. Like, right. he just... They're like, yep, he was a great hero. We'll remember him always, and that's all you all really right. get. So let me go ahead and help you out here. Um, take the right, okay. not the left. All right. Yeah. Sulky. Yes, we'll discard something. Those smelling salts really came in handy. Yep. <laughs> but that's how it always goes, right? It's like you, you bring a raincoat and it doesn't rain. What is that? Ooh. Um. I mean, I guess we just do what we can do. Is this another boss thing? No, oh. no, this is just a random enemy. Yeah, it just hits really hard. And has a lot of health, apparently. Um, I think that's what we want to do. Because Milo will get rid of that one. Yeah. I had faith he could do that. There we go. Oh, I went too far. No. Oh, goodness. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna fast forward. I'm too, I'm too anxious. All right, we are so close. We are. No! <laughs> um... I mean, there's, there's nothing for us to really do. No, I would rather not. her not get stuck, so we'll do that. I need to not have any glancing blows, that's for sure. Uh, I think we might need to just go back. I mean, assuming that we survive this, yeah, I think you're right. We'll survive, but just barely. Man, so close. Oh, if he's gonna double us, uh oh. Oh, that doesn't work in battle. Alright. Well, we got the Angel Feather anyway. Well. We, uh, you mean the key? No, I meant the Angel Feather. We're back at town. Yes. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Technically. Technically, we are. 
That was crazy. That was crazy. Hmm. Do we rescue the princess this episode, or do I am I a butt, and do I make it the next episode? Ooh. Um, I think we can do it. Okay, I was like, I'm gonna leave this power in your hands. I don't know how to get back there. Okay, well then we'll make that easy. I'll make sure you know exactly how to get back there. Okay, because that really was. That was no maps or anything, guys. I've not looked at it. That was just me going, I'll go this way. I don't think I can just randomly do that again, but... You can... Other than the this thing that spins, there so wasn't a whole lot. This way. Yeah, there. No, the... not this way. Not this way. No. Mm -mm. This way. Up all the way down. Up all the way down. Okay. But when we went to the, when we got to the spinning thing, there essentially was one half. Of the, of the dungeon going one way and the other half of the dungeon going the other way. So you went the other way. I see. Man, that uh, Cerebus or what, however they wrote it was definitely uh, important there. Because that's totally why I made the decision I did. Oh, that's right. You're right. That, that one new enemy that we'd never seen. That's a good call. I'll heal after this. There we go. Yeah, that heal four coming in clutch too. Yeah, I suspect we'll need it again uh, for some future boss. Oh, I suspect you're right. Also, Hero has more than 300 now. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, I thought Milo was down. Never mind. I just don't know how much health my characters have. It's fine. Alright, now everybody's hurt. I think we got hit with three blasts, and those blasts, you I know, they, so. they stack blast. Oh, she's hitting one, because the... I got, every time we game over, I forget I've got to recurse her with stuff. We could get her a different whip. But the different whip would have, let me see, 25 less attack, which isn't uh, a lot. It, she's only doing like 40 damage her. per hit. She, she's, not, she's doing in the 20s per hit. Yeah. So, then, so that would be everything. Oh, he's poisoned too, so I'll deal with that. Yeah, so that's not going to be good for us. So I'm gonna have her heal him, and then Milo heal himself. There we go. Uh, straight? Alright, you're gonna wanna go straight, yes. And then take the next right. right. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Ironically, if we'd gone the other way, we'd have gotten that other whip. Oh. Ah, we level two. We have been getting a lot of EXP, so. Yes. That one more defense point for Hero. Oh, Pyro needs to be healed. Do that. Now I gotta decide, if we're rescuing the princess this episode, I gotta decide what my thumbnail is now. Do you really think it can be anything other than the Dark Knight? I think you're probably right. Maybe. I mean, but my goodness, that was just... It was epic. It was, but rescuing the princess is the whole reason we're here. True. We'll probably use one more heal, too. Uh, Alright, so either way works. I think it's faster to go the... Yeah, go this way. Let's okay. just go this way. We didn't go this way last time. This avoids the spinner. Okay. Just for the off chance that we end up going the wrong way. I believe the answer was to the right when we hit the spinner. It was. 
Yeah, and you're much better at keeping your 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 sense while you're spinning. I get totally turned around. Uh, I usually am not talking during the spinning for that reason. Got it. That I'm really focusing on not getting, not losing my bearings. Uh, yeah, we saw these before. Yes, we have. They don't have a lot of health, but I think they do a lot of damage. Hopefully not. Okay. Well, that helps. Was that a sleeping one? I think it was. Yes. Great. Yeah, they do a lot. But only to one, only to one person. It's funny how you, your priorities change. I'll take 100 damage to Milo over 60 to the whole party. Yeah, that's very true. There's some that definitely feel like maybe a step back in terms of difficulty, mm -hmm. which is fine because there's other ones that feel like a huge step up. All right, so now you're gonna take the left. Okay. And the right is where I was last time? The right is a dead end. There's nothing down there. Okay. There we go. So what do we get? Attack to defense to. Alright. Keep going? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was where the spinner came out. Oh, okay. This was where you did your view spell at the top north corner of the map. I see. Um, I mean, yeah, I think sleep, if it works, is just the best way to... to deal. Agreed. There we go. Alright, yep, take that. Yeah. Now take the left. Oh. What are they bad against? Let's just freeze. Yeah, I would think it'll do plenty. Well, maybe not. Darn. That helps. Yes. Uh, well. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that's kind of awkward. <clears throat> okay, so they take less from Blaze. Yeah. But now we know that. Mm hmm. Oh, they don't even hit as hard. They're just annoying with this revive thing. <laughs> yeah. wonder if Milo could use Burst, and that would help. Uh, sure. We could try it. We do about the same amount like this anyway. Oh yeah, we're doing 40s now. Yeah. That's uh, a little less than his norm, I think. Yeah, wow. But they've only got one left. Okay. I was like, if he casts Revive 2, we'll just have two, and we can deal with that. There we go. I will. I would much prefer that to Diesel. I like that a lot. Lots of XP, too. Wow. Oh, was it? I didn't pay attention. It's 9,000. Wow. Burst to level 4. All right. All right. Take your left, and then we'll be to our balcony. Got this again. Um... Yeah, I think we're good if we just do that. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. It just takes a minute. There we go. Yeah, because I can see there's a dead end down there. And I took, like, one more step, because that porch at the very end looks a little bit suspicious. But when I got closer, yeah, it looks the same. I thought about too. I didn't forget the medallion. I decided not to bring it because we didn't see it last time. I didn't see the fountain. So I'm no, like, you're right. We didn't. We, we didn't quite reach one. That's correct. That tells me that it's deeper in, and it's this. You know, this is right serious. to the left. Not that it matters. It's it's a roundabout, but okay. 
Um, I should have healed here, though. Let's see if we can sleep them. I feel like hobgoblins are easily put to sleep, right? They just seem like the kind of enemies that have low magic resist. Seems you're right. I wish she wouldn't attack the sleeping ones. I assume it's because Hero's gonna kill the, the one that's awake, but still. No. Huh. I have no idea what they're doing. So for all that talk in the early episodes about really good AI, we just were getting lucky. Go figure. I don't know if it was luck. I feel like, you know, maybe something changed. I don't know. Maybe. Because I feel like there's probably just an AI that's checking for a bunch of different things that mm -hmm. assesses something. Like, I, I don't know. But I, I don't know why it's con it seems to be confused now. Oh, you want to heal real quick? Yes, thank you. And Milo's at full health. Yeah. Pyra's probably good. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the chest key. That also means we can backtrack yep. to things now if we want to. Blessed be the ancients, the cell key. Is that the key you hold in your hand? At last, I'll be freed from the stench of this cell. Yeah, but you see, my father had this mission, and I've decided to take up his sword, and now I'm back. No, um... What a twist. Where is it? Oh, okay, it looks like a sta weird staff. Go figure that the cell key for prisons is the one that's elaborate and encrusted with a jewel. Huh. You don't know what it was like in there. I'm dying for a bath. I thank the fates for guiding you to me. It's interesting that that's capitalized. Do they believe, like, in the fates? Like, the Greek ones? I don't know. Maybe? I'm trying to think if there's any kind of, like, fate references. I'm trying to think of, like, in Shining Force 2, when you first defeat... Oh, what's his name? The first of the demons, the great demons, and then there's all the statues, and you hear about this, the history of things. Yeah. I, I can see the fates being there. I've only played through the game a couple of times. I said it, like, during that playthrough, I think, that I'm really fascinated by, like, the religiosity that surrounds Shining Force, and you're definitely going to get videos on that in the future. But it just seems like there, it's ever-evolving, as the more I learn. And there's also that some of that, a lot of it is... Uh, different in the Japanese version, and that's the only thing I care about, because that's, like, the real version, you know? <laughs> so Yeah, absolutely. I've got more research to do. How did you ever get your hands on the cell key? Was it not you? No, your, my dad told me that it was right here. Oh, no. No, my freedom isn't worth the price of Mortred's life. Uh, I mean, he thought it was. Cursed be the darkness that twisted Mortred's good soul. Dark Soul, I'll have his head one day. But for now, let us depart. I hope you don't mind me joining you. What? What does she do? Wachanga, of course. I don't know. But you can find out by joining us next time. Because <laughs> we are at that time. This episode was huge. Um, and I also, I'm saying preemptively, I might be, uh, a little bit of a butt and make the thumbnail for the episode after this, saving the princess, because we're picking up right after it, so that's the price you get. <laughs> we, we might, uh, I don't know, it depends what happens next episode. Keep your eye on that thumbnail, I guess. But, uh, you got anything else, Captain? Nope, that'll be all. Y'all have a great day. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next time.